Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how we can find the squares of either of these numbers in a matter of just three or four seconds. Okay. So let's look at the first example, 91, the square of 91. If you are supposed to find the square of 91, there is a very easy Vedic maths trick involved here. What we do is we first write down the square of 90, 90 being the number just before 91, right? So the square of 90, we know very easily it is 8100, 0, 0. that is 8100. And then what we do is we add the sum of 90 and 91. Okay. This is the square of 90. And in this square of 90, what we need to add is the sum of 90 and 91. The sum of 90 and 91 is 181. So the addition of these two numbers is the square of 91. So it comes to 8281. Okay. So 8281 is the square of 91. So we're such a very easy trick. What we write down is first is the square of 90, which is just before 91 and then add the sum of the 90 as well as the 91. The addition of those two numbers is 181 and the final answer that we get is 8281. Similarly, let's find out the square of 81. The number just before 81 is 80, which is a perfect round number. So the square of 80, we know very easily it is 6400. 0, 0 and we need to add the sum of 80 and 81 in this. The sum of 80 and 81 is 161 and hence the final answer that is the square of 81 is 6561. Okay, so very easy. With little practice, one can easily do it in a matter of just two or three or four seconds. Similarly, let's find out the square of 71. Again, first we'll write down the square of 70, which is 4900 0, 0, and then add the sum of 70 and 71, which is 141 into that and we get an answer of 5041. Let's find another, uh, take another example, 61 square. We'll first write down the square of 60, which is 3600. 0, 0 then add the sum of 60 and 61 which is 121 in it and we get the answer as 3721. Let's take another example of 51, 51 square. The square of 50 we'll write down first which is 2500. 0, 0. Then add the sum of 50 and 51 which is 101 in it. So we get the answer as 2601. The same trick can be applied to any three digit number as well. Let's take another example, 121 square. Okay. So here the round number near it is 120. So the square of 120 will write down first, which is 14400 0, 0, and then add 120 plus 121 in it, which gives us 241 and addition of these two numbers is 14,641, which is the square of 121. Okay, I hope this trick is uh, clear to everyone. And we'll, you'll make use of it whenever needed to find squares of any number, which is where, very next to the round, perfect round number. Okay, so this trick can be applied to all such numbers, which are next to the perfect round number. If you like this, please let me know. If you have any feedback or comments, please do mention it in the comment section. And please do share this video with your friends who can also benefit from this trick. Thank you.